In this video, we will look at adding decimals using a base 10 shorthand drawing. This standard extends students' previous experiences with adding and subtracting whole numbers and their understanding of place value with decimals. This standard requires that students utilize models, drawings, and strategies based on place value rather than relying on algorithms. Here we're going to look at adding 6 and 45 hundredths and 2 and 87 hundredths. Before we begin, let's review uh, the base 10 shorthand drawing. So when we draw a square like this, we are representing one whole. When we draw a rod like that, we are representing one tenth. And when we draw a dot like this, we are representing one hundredth. Also, before we solve, I want to make sure that we estimate so that when we have our actual answer, we can make sure it is reasonable. So I'm going to record that here under the actual expression. So we have 6 and 45 hundredths. I'm going to just round that to the nearest whole number since that would be friendly for me. You certainly could round it in a different way, but we will round this to 6. And then 2 and 87 hundredths, I know that that is close to 3. and six plus three would be nine. So this lets me know that our final answer should be around nine. So let's go ahead and begin to solve. I'm going to start with six and 45 hundredths and I'm going to represent that using the base 10 shorthand drawing. So I'm going to show six holes. Next, I will show four tenths, since in 45 hundredths there are four tenths and five hundredths. So I'll show four tenths, and then we'll show the five hundredths. And I'm going to switch colors, and now I'll show the two and 87 hundredths. You don't have to switch colors when you're using a base 10 shorthand drawing. I just think it will be helpful for us to see um, in this example. So let's show two and 87 hundredths. First of all, that's made of two holes, so I'll go ahead and show that. I'm just going to put this one right underneath here. Now. 8 tenths, so let's go ahead and show 8 tenths, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then lastly we have 7 hundredths, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And you'll see that in this 2 and 87 hundredths, when I had 8 tenths and then when I had 7 hundredths, I just grouped a group of 5 together and then put the additional tenths or hundredths underneath that. Um, that's just for um, making it a little bit easier when I need to regroup. Certainly not something that you have to do, but it just helps me when solving. So now we need to go ahead and add together what we have here. So since we know that groups of hundredths make new tenths and groups of tenths make new holes, I'm going to go ahead and start in the hundredths to see if we have enough hundredths to make a new tenth when we're adding. So when I look here, at the top here I have five hundredths. And then down here I have seven more hundredths. So I know that I do in fact have enough to make a new tenth. So I'm going to need to group together 10 hundredths and that can give me a new tenth, which I'm just gonna represent over there in orange. Now I'll go ahead and look at my tenths. I had four tenths already, then I had eight tenths, and then we have one new tenth created. And so again, I know that that is enough to make a new whole. I know I need 10 tenths to make a new whole. So I'm going to head, go ahead and group together 10 tenths. I know down here at the bottom, I have nine tenths already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of these from up top where I had four tenths. So 10 tenths group together and that 10 tenths gives me a new whole. And then I have just three tenths remaining, which is not enough to regroup for another whole. And so now I can go ahead and add what we have left to determine the total. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine holes. Right here we had three tenths left. So we have nine holes, we have three tenths. And then down here we had two hundredths left. You always have to look at your drawing very carefully so that you don't forget about anything that wasn't regrouped. So again, I have nine holes, three tenths, and two hundredths. 
And so that lets me know that 6 and 45 hundredths plus 2 and 87 hundredths is 9 and 32 hundredths. And I know that that answer is reasonable because when we started out here, we estimated, and I thought that the answer should be around 9. And 9 and 32 hundredths is just 32 hundredths more than that estimate, which is really pretty close. So I know that answer is reasonable. And this is how we can use a base 10 shorthand drawing to add two decimal numbers.